Hello. There we go. Let's see if that works a bit. I'm uh, just here at the foot of my bed. Um, I'm kneeling at the foot of my bed. The way you picture somebody saying their evening prayers. You know, kind of kneeling with their elbows on the bed and uh, I just had uh, quite the emotional evening uh, uh, you know, big group of well-wishers and the energy of the group for which I'm grateful uh, and then the act of uh, facing the poetry and then experiencing what the poetry was largely about it's uh, quite an emotional evening and I'm home and there's, you know, work to do and another day to meet very soon. And so I'm doing a simple little meditation to kind of um, sort of uh, de-amplify the emotions. I'm not trying to uh, transform them or disregard them or hurry them along or anything like that. Just trying to just um, bring them down a couple notches in their amplitude and I'm actually kind of I don't know if you can see but I'm just kind of resting you know my chest uh, you know the, the sternum the bottom of the sternum and the xipoid processor so against the edge of the top of the bed again you know I'm resting on my elbows here uh, I was trying to let the heart feel the firmness at the edge of the bed, the solidity, the ground likeness of the bed, the ground likeness. I'm also, of course, on my knees, so of the sort of levels of the body, you know, the spirit, the mind, heart, the body. I've kind of folded the knees so that uh, I'll re represent that here the spirit, mind, heart, and body on the bottom. And since I folded the knees, um, we fold the knees, and then these two levels can kind of come down. So now we actually kind of have the spirit at the emotional level, and what had been at this level, the mind, heart, and the middle finger, is now closer to the body level. So we're kind of purposely making a shift in the, the height of the self, and then I'm letting the, the heart area, not the heart literally, but the heart level, feel the firmness of the bed, the box spring, which is really all it is, you know, my bed is that, that thick, however thick that is, and then there's a box spring. Uh, and I kind of did this as a purposeful practice to kind of come into this position so that my body was aware of what I was doing and saw it coming and I did it slowly. And now I'm trying to uh, feel those emotions in a physical way, which of course physiologically may be the emotions uh, follow on expressions in the body and that's fine but I'm, what I'm doing my process here is to feel the emotions in the body so we tend to describe emotions in emotional terms but does something make you feel flushed does something make you feel light or dense or shaky or bigger or warm or different color or what have you so I'm kind of looking after those feelings. So, you know, again, we had this idea, and then I'm having the emotional experience, which I think is a little on the eye side. See if I can recognize where it's related to what physically happens, you know, right here in the, in the body. Uh, so again, the intention here is not to transform the emotions or shunt them or disregard them or even judge them and say 
uh, they're over much or overdone or anything. I'm simply thinking that they're a little high. So, uh, turned up in volume. And I'm trying to help them recognize in them, in the body, a similar state, a related state, maybe the same state. And so as I sit here in this position with pressure on the heart area, just light pressure, but I'm kind of leaning. You can't see me from the side, but I'm kind of leaning into the bed, kneeling and functionally feeling myself lower to the ground. I'm trying to let those emotions that I was describing be felt and maybe even expressed in the physical being rather than let them continue to play as readily at the higher level that they ordinarily are. Higher level meaning, you know, this level rather than this level. This also has the effect of bringing <coughs> the spirit. Here I am kneeling, there's the kneel and this. And now the spirit is now at this heart-mind level. And of course, Smirit has a really wonderful mitigating and authoritarian, authoritative presence. So it's sort of a benevolent ruler, and it's, it's you know, the boss is here. So I'm resting in that, recognizing that I've purposely chosen to come into this state. I will annotate. You probably feel or see that I'm shifting quite a bit. You probably have a sense of where the emotions are. I'm trying to feel the physical expression of the emotions, however slight, however not really feeling like they're worth mentioning. However hard to give a word to, it's fine. So I almost feel like the, the excess, if we can say that, emotions get entrained with the body. They find some succor, they find some stability. have a meditation that takes you around the belt meridian, that's one that I might do here as well. <sighs> I'm definitely feeling quite a bit more settled. So those emotions remain as ripe as they were, as real as they are, as voluminous as they are. Yet the volume, the amplitude of them feels somewhat less urgent. Now I'm kind of starting to feel like, oh, I can process this a little bit more gently. I can get to bed a little bit earlier. I can get up in the morning a little bit earlier than I might have. So you may wish to try that on your own when that happens. But I'm gonna start thinking about bed. Thank you very much.